Hey guys, it's Vandiazzle, back at again for another Pokemon Omega Ruby video. So I hope you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join to the Patreon. Let's get started. If you guys don't mind, from last time we made it to Fallboard Town and beat up that guy right there who had a Gyarados. Now we're moving on to go rescue the Professor from Team Magma. And test out our skills in our first, no, our second on-screen double battle. I did a third one off-screen, and that's the one I like to train up on. So if you ever... See, Pokemon levels differ. If I remember to, I'll do it on screen just to show you what I do every time. But we're fighting a grass and poison and a water and fairy. Good news is, grass beats water and psychic beats poison, which is so much better. And Azumarill is down. And Treaty almost leveled up again. Damn. Loom is 24. Oh, so close. This is why I like double battles. They always give good experience, especially with, like, second form Pokemon. Second level Pokemon. And the Rosalia hit itself. Great. I'm also pretty sure this thing has poison points, so hitting a long range move is good. I I keep changing my mind whether Mega Drain is a long range or not. I'm going to say it's a long range because it looks like a long range, but I'm probably going to say it's a close range anyways. And Tree E leveled up again. Damn. It has been two battles, and he already leveled up twice. Or, uh, well, he leveled up once. And Sai is level 22. Trike is 19. Trike is learning Thunderfang. Damn! <laughs> Go, Trike! Also, that Trike, Electrike that we fought before was level 20. And this thing learns Thunderfang at level 19. And we fought it with Swift. So why did it not use either Spark or Thunderfang? Oh my god, if I had, like, trained it out just a bit more, I would have legit thrown it out against that Gyarados player. Because I really wanted Trick to evolve, and that would have been so cool, because it would have been four times effective. <laughs> but I guess Trick is definitely going to be on the team longer now. Trick, if especially since there's going to be a bit of training before we can actually fight the gym leader, because of story-wise, I think we might actually be able to get Trick to either evolve or... Get him to a high enough level where he can fight as an equal member of the team. Damn. Okay, Sai's going back out there. Cool. Sai, show him your confusion. I don't think it's super effective anyways, but I want to see it. Yep, it's not super effective. But that's going to be... Holy shit. That was a one shot. Okay. Sai is going to be fainted for a while. Good news is... I know we're coming up on a Pokemon Center somewhere soon. Yeah, we're, so we're coming up on a Pokemon Center somewhere soon. So we're going to be able to go back and fix that mistake. If I, if I can do that in this episode, which I might not be able to based on time. But hopefully we can. I really need to start buying revives. Sorry, Trike. I mean, sorry, Sai. That's my fault. Okay. You guys are... Where are you taking the professor? Hey, wait up! Okay, well, there goes Meg. I guess we're supposed to follow her. It's not follow the leader, though, because she ain't the leader. I'm the smart one. Okay, and now we're fighting him. Slugma. We do have a Slugma named Slugger. A girl one. So if you ever want me to use the Slugma... We can, but I'm not really a big fan of Slugma or Makarga for that matter, so... Yeah. Also, Mega Drain hurt a Slugma a lot last time, and now it's doing nothing, so... And it has Incinerate. Anything else you want to show me that you didn't have before, Slugma? This is the type of stuff we'll run into when we get to the Gym Leader. So, we'll probably see, like, 20 of these things. And we'll probably just beat the crap out of it with Trike, who I should switch up to first... But I'm not going to. As much as I want Trike to evolve and be on even levels with everyone else. King is 21. Wingall. That is something Trike can actually take out, considering it's four times super effective against it. With Thunder Fang and Spark. And Volt Switch, if I remember to actually give it to him. Okay, Trike. Ready? You're going to take down your first Pokemon and be in your fir first Pokemon battle. That being said, if you can survive Air Cutter, which you can. Now... Go get him, Trike! 
four times super effective Thunder Fang. That's right, Trike. You did it, man. And you didn't even level up from it. I'm disappointed, but it's fine. You did something, and that's good enough for me, because you're the trikiest trike I've ever triked. I literally confused myself with that sentence. This man should have only Rock-type Pokemon, if I remember correctly. And if he doesn't, he has, like, one Slugma. But, yep, Geodude, first Pokemon. I'm gonna get this Pokemon to heal from. This is why I don't heal Tree E unless he's, like, hit with the status condition. And I know he's gonna be in a disadvantage in the next fight, because... I can just use Mega Drain to heal him up whoever I fight against. And if he has the type advantage, then obviously it's going to be a good idea not to heal when I can just Mega Drain it to death, considering how fast Treaty is. I think Treaty's only been outsped once. And I, d I think that was by a Talo, so... Rel and that was a Pokemon that's super effective against him, but every other Pokemon he's outsped. Whether he was super effective against them or not. So, Treaty I'm not that worried about when it comes to terms of speed. I'm, when I'm worried about him, it's in terms of power and depending on who I'm fighting. If it's like a Gyarados like last time, we might have a problem. Because the Gyaradoses are stronger, they have Intimidate, which makes us even weaker. But Tree E can outspeed it. And Swift is at level 26. And in Pokemon, it's all a matter of strategy and what you do prefer between power, speed, pretty much defense, or anything. I prefer speed over anything, so... If you ever see me using Pokemon that are best at speed but nothing else, that's probably because I'm a full-on speedster and nothing else. Which is why when we play a very specific game that, um, I don't remember if I said the reference to it or not, but that Swift's name is based off of, when we play that game, you guys are going to see a lot of characters that are speed-based on our team solely because I like speed and nothing else. And Tree E is taking damage. I think that thing just embowed us for every bit of health that we took from it. <clears throat> okay. And now Tree E is almost leveled up to level 30, which is good. Because that means he's about to evolve again. He, I want him to evolve before the 5th gym leader, but he'll pro that probably won't happen. If only Pokemon would evolve in mid-battle, because that would probably happen. Okay, time to take on the people who took over the professor. Give it up, you bozos. Let the professor go. Huh? What we have here? Why has this child suddenly appeared? Ezel, you came. We've got to save the P Professor Cosmo from these people. These two are these are two of them, and two of us. Ezel, please bow together with me. Yes. Thanks a mill. Ah ha ha. Isn't this amusing? Is it is it really your intention to oppose me? A team magma adamant. Just the two of you? Hmm. Very well, then. I will show you how terrifying adults can be. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to give you some very thorough coaching. Thorough coaching. This will be my first time battling beside you, Ezel. I've got to do my best. Me and May are the perfect team. We can fight as a team. When you're a rival with someone and you fight on the same team together, you are pretty much invincible. And this person's name is Tabitha. You know what? I can see why he's mad at the world. His name is Tabitha. He's a male. I can see his mad. I can see his anger piercing through. And, of course, it does that. Which is why we're going to heal right off the bat because I feel like this thing's going to give it swagger. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. And I was right. It does, have, does use swagger, but not on me. Weirdly enough, the one time it doesn't use swagger on me is when it does it to my teammate while I'm recording. Weird. Okay, it's self-destructing. The suicide move, okay. That's what it does. Good to know that there's just a teammate who's willing to sacrifice themselves just to, so, just to make sure that their team leader wins. Too bad that's gonna go in vain though, cause it just weakened my Diana enough to where I can kill it with Leaf Blade. So thanks a lot, coughing. I am now level 30 with Tree E, because why not? Loom is level 25, Trike is 20 now. And they're sending out Numel. Great. I'm gonna Mega Drain and steal all of its life energy while the other guy can. Well, 
Wilmer can finish it off with a water type move if it lives. Yep, water pulse four times super effective. That should end it. Yep, it does. Me and May, the perfect team. I take out one Pokemon. She helps take down the other. Well, she takes down the other while I help with that. We got a lot of money from that too. Ah, un unexpected development. We did it, Hazel. You children, I would like to. I would like you to stay out of my way. Team Magma's scientific prowess, Mount Chimney's energy, and the hidden power of the meteorite. If we combine them all, a super ancient Pokemon. Bwahaha. You lost to this scamp? What pathetic bunch. You lazy stooges will be the downfall of Team Magma. Who? Who's there? Blue bandana? Not Maxi. Hey, a Megastone. Ha ha. Even Team Aqua is making an appearance. The odds do not appear to be in my favor. You there, I'll have the meteor right now. Yes, sir. What? What? Come on, come now. Hand it over the meteorite. Ugh. Professor! Back off. Aha, the meteorite is in the palm of my hand. Well, well, well. Adios to each and every one of you. At long last, I'm off to Mount Chimney. And I'm not gonna try to stop him. Tch! Archie! We will go after those monsters. That's right, we're not letting them get away. Oh, what's this? You've got a fierce expression on on you for such a wee little thing. The name's Archie. I'm the leader of Team Aqua, a group that's working to return the world to a pristine state. Want that one that will be perfect for Pokemon survival. Looks like you were getting into with Team Magma there. Lest my eyes deceive me. It's not like I'm in a, the position to argue if that's what you're up to, eh? But I'll, but I'll tell you this much. So remember, if you get, if you next get in the way of Team Aqua, you won't get off so lightly. So steer clear and keep your nose clean, Scamp. I'll, I imagine I'll be seeing you. Wahaha, so, wahaha. Okay, are we done? Please? Oh, brother. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Never mind those nuts, Professor. You okay? But they, I only, looks like he's still pretty out of it. Ezel, never mind what hap what's happened. I've got to get the Professor back to his lab forward. Okay, Professor, easy now. Ah, Professor, thanks to the stars above. Professor, you're back. Aha, thanks to these children, I have somehow returned. Those nuts back there, what do you think they're hoping to do with their professor's meteorite? From the look of them, they kind of seem like bad guys, but we both got to be careful. Though I'm not worried about a bit if it's your team, Ezel. But I need to thank you as well. You truly saved me from disaster. I hope you'll take this team as a small thing for my repayment. Wow, thanks, Professor. Well, you, what you're going to do next, Ezel, I'm thinking of checking out the next gym on my list. Um, it's the one in Mavile. What? Why don't you come with me, Ezel, to Mavile? No. All right. Well, then if you change your mind, come tell me. Mavile is in the middle, right in the middle of Hoenn. Hoenn. So you can go all sorts of places from there. Even Mount Chimney, the place those guys were talking about, Meter Falls, in fact. So a short trip from Mavile. Okay. I'm going to here. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like. Comment, subscribe, and donate to the Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next one. Number two, check us out.